Hi, this is Pavel and this is a part four of our Star Trek battle uh, program. And today we're going to start uh, coding some logic. We already have the classes, uh, we have the uh, properties and the method all already uh, coded. So let's get to do some logic. Now, first thing we'll start with is the superclass spaceship. And we have a, a hit method that we have to do. We have to kind of define what happens when a ship gets hit by uh, the enemy ship. So uh, that's actually fairly simple. So the hit, what we have to do is to decrement shield strength. That's all we have to do. When we get hit, our shield strength uh, will be decreased by the hit strength that is passed as an argument. So if we are hit by a torpedo that has a hit strength of 2, our original shield strength, let's say set up to 15, will be now set to 13. And uh, at some point, uh, you know, when it hits several times, the ship gets destroyed. When we have to capture that moment, because when the ship is destroyed, it is out of fight, it cannot shoot and it cannot be hit. And when three ships of the same team are destroyed, the other team wins. So we have to set a logic for that. So if ship is destroyed, uh, set uh, is destroyed to true. Because we have a property called is destroyed that keeps checking if the ship is in fact destroyed. So if our shield strength after this shot is uh, less or equal to less or equal to zero, then is destroyed equals to true, and the ship is destroyed. So that's our hit property. Uh, I mean hit uh, method, and I think this is all for the uh, superclass. Now the other uh, abstract classes that we have, which is the starship for the Federation. And what was the other one? The Klingon ship for the Klingon uh, fleet. Now, we, and we don't have to do anything. This, these are abstract classes. Uh, so now we have to go and implement the methods to, in our concrete classes. So let's start with the galaxy. So we have to figure out what happens in the fire when, when the, the ship fires. First of all, we have to randomly select a weapon. Now Galaxy, uh, as you can see, has uh, phasers and photon torpedoes, so it's randomly going to uh, select which weapon to shoot. So we have two weapons, so I'll do random and equals new random. And I'm going to I'm not going to do an integer between 1 and 2. We could do that, but I'm going to do it between 100 and 200. Uh, if it gives me a little bit of range. Uh, it will be more uh, random, basically. Uh, so weapon equals random next. So the, the range is from 0 to 199, which is basically 200. Uh, uh, from uh, 200 digits, right? So now if our weapon Weapon is Less than 100 in other words if this is a it, like I said it could be 1 and 2 so if it was less than 1 then we will uh, We will set the uh, Let me see uh, now what happens? We will uh, we will return if it returns an integer. We will return the the hit, like uh, what the damage is. Like if the uh, if the phaser shoots, the damage is one. If the torpedo shoots, we, it, the damage is two. So uh, we will return if it's let's say the f if it's less than hundred, we will shoot the 
phaser. So we will return uh, and the phaser strength over here we have a constant so we will return phaser strength. It's, it's better to do it with constant than just say return 1 because then you would not know why 1 you know or why 2. So if that's the case we will return the phaser strength and else if that's the torpedo should be shot uh, then uh, we will return 2. However we will return the torpedo strength. However remember the phasers have unlimited ammo. The torpedoes have an ammo of two, 10 for the galaxy ship. So we have to sh uh, check if the ship is out of ammo first. So if uh, P torpedoes, which is, which is the photon torpedoes, equals zero, in other words we don't have any more torpedoes to shoot, we have to reload. So we will reload and we will reload by simply setting the torpedoes back to the original which was 10 for the galaxy ship you can see that it's 10 uh, so now we have 10 torpedoes but we're not going to fire because we use the turn to reload that's one of the things that the assignment uh, asks for that uh, the if we are out of ammo we don't shoot we just reload and we randomly select another ship to shoot so we will return zero, no shot, damage is zero. And if this is not the case, if we had uh, ammo, then we can shoot. So shoot, and we will have to decrement the ammo. We will have to take one out. So we will take torpedoes, one out because we just shot one, and we will return torpedo strength which is in this case 2 all right so um, we don't need this because we are this it just says that it's unleashable code and it is because in the, the return statements will be uh, executed within the if block one of them will definitely be executed there's no other way around it so I just delete that one more thing we need though if you remember in our spaceship uh, uh, class, which is the uh, main abstract class, the super class, we need to capture what weapon was fired so we can uh, display it on the screen. So over here, if we shoot the phasers, we will set a fired weapon to phaser. If uh, we are reloading then we will display we are reloading and what we are reloading we are reloading photon torpedoes so I will set the fired weapon to uh, photon torpedoes basically it will say something like uh, USS Enterprise is reloading photon torpedoes but we need to see what it is that is reloading uh, well, you don't have to reload the phasers because like, again, it's unlimited ammo. But th this basically returns a portion of the message that we will display. We will display this string in our message on the screen. And over here, again, this is, this is when we are reloading the photon torpedoes. So it's a plural. And over here, it will say some, uh, we will just use the photon torpedo. It will say something like uh, USS Enterprise fired photon torpedo you'll see how it all comes up together uh, in a minute all right so that's our galaxy class so now we can do our next one for the uh well, this is the federation so that's the other class is the defiant class i believe or defiant and uh, i'm going to you know, I'm just going to copy paste this. We will we will modify because uh, this class of ship has uh, three weapons: it has phasers, photon torpedoes, and quantum torpedoes. But we can use this all this block as a uh, kind of to just to modify it. 
So we will again select, this stays the same, we will select a random weapon, but we will select three weapons, so I'll do 300. And if it's uh, less than 100, then it is still phasers. If it's uh, the first one uh, that we will be shooting, it's phasers, if uh, the number, uh, the random number is less than 100. If it's less than 200 or bef between 100 and 200, then we will shoot the photon torpedo. So over here, we will do else if weapon is less than 200, then all this code will be executed. Except I don't have a torpedo strength, so let me just copy the constants as well. I thought I had them already. Oh, I have it because we have photon torpedoes and quantum torpedoes. I uh, prefix them with P and Q. So this one is a P. This is a photon torpedoes that we do. All right, and um, so this is if it's hundred. Remember, we don't have to do if it's uh, more than hundred and less than two hundred. It will simply check if it's less than hundred. If not, then it is more than one hundred. So we will check if it's less than 200, it automatically is between 100 and 200. And if not, then we will shoot the quantum torpedo. So else, if neither of this is true, then we will uh, shoot the quantum torpedo. So it's gonna be if, just like over here, we have to check if we have enough uh, ammo. If quantum torpedoes equals zero, then our quantum torpedoes uh, we will set to one. In fact, you know what? I have to set the the ammo. So this is unlimited, but the photon torpedoes we have an ammo of one, and quantum torpedoes ammo of one as well. So over here, when we're reloading, we'll set it back to one only, not ten. We only have one torpedo at a time, and the strength is one for phasers, two for uh, photon torpedoes, and four. Uh, for uh, the quantum torpedoes so we set this to one and we'll set this to one as well because like when we're reloading and uh, a fired weapon uh, will equal to quantum torpedoes it, it, again it will say uh, we are reloading quantum torpedoes and it will return zero because we are reloading. In this case, if the torpedoes, if we don't have any ammo, if it equals to zero, we are reloading. All right. If we are not reloading, then we can. Uh, we don't need. The, by the way, we don't need the else statement because we are returning to zero. It will never execute anything below this. So, if this is not true, then it will go on and uh, execute the code below. If this is true, it will simply exit this uh, uh, this method with the return statement. So, if we are not reloading, our quantum torpedoes will be decremented by one, because we just shot one, and fire weapon equals uh, quantum torpedo. So, we shot quantum torpedo, we fired quantum torpedo, and we will return um, quantum torpedo strength, which is, in this case, in this ship, it is four. So that's our fire method for uh, the Defiant ship. We already have the Galaxy ship, so now we can do, in the next video, we will do the uh, Klingon uh, ships. So stick around, I'll see you in, in the next video.